And welcome back to the Los Angeles Chargers franchise mode here on Madden 24, featuring Jim Harbaugh as he has taken his next coaching step back to the NFL and with this Chargers team. If you missed episode one, we did that video last week. It was the off season going into this 2024 NFL season. We made some big moves. I think the biggest and most notable move, at least from Harbaugh's perspective, will be getting Blake Corum, the former Michigan Wolverine, has now been inserted into the offense. He will be running in a committee, of course, with Austin Eckler. Isaiah Spiller is on the team as well, but likely you will just see both of Eckler and Corum. And our first round pick, of course, is the man out of University of Georgia. That is one Brock Bowers at the tight end position. So the Chargers coming out firing here tonight against the Cleveland Browns here in week one. And folks, if you haven't yet, though, make sure that hit that subscribe button down below for some more here on the channel. Last week, I said it was going to be the Raiders in week one. It's actually the Raiders in week two. So here in the dog pound in week number one, and there is one Deshaun Watson season ending injury last season only gave him a 74 overall he does have 84 speed so the game plan at least on the defensive side of the ball is going to be to pressure the quarterback here if we can make Watson throw I mean I know we just completed a pass right there to Amari Cooper we can be successful I mean this is a Browns team that saw more success with Joe Flacco running the offense than they did with Watson now, I know they had a better record, I think, with Watson, but as a whole, the offense did look better with Joe Flacco. We are going to get the Browns off the field, and here comes Justin Herbert, really looking for that MVP-type year out of him. Our first play, though, from scrimmage will be a handoff to Blake Corum that goes for no gain. Here's the draft class. You can pause the video here if you need, or just go back to last week's video where we did go over the draft in full. Another big addition, the senior at Toledo, Quinion Mitchell, will be in the secondary. He's going to probably be our number two corner, so there's something to look out for there. We're going to go three and out though on the offensive side of the football here comes the defense again trying to pressure Deshaun Watson as much as we can which is going to leave matchups like that one-on-one -on -one. but David Njoku is going to drop the football and that's again what we're looking to force here at least in this game against a guy in Deshaun Watson who honestly I don't think is all that great in this video game we're going to find Mike Williams right there. Williams coming back from the season ending injury last season. Third and 10 though for Herbert looking to throw. He will find Josh Palmer and Palmer will not have enough for the first down. It will be fourth and inches for the Chargers, but we are going to bring the offense back on the field. Got Austin Eckler in the backfield. Again, you're going to see him and Corum. Eckler is going to pick up the first down and a gain of three. So the offense will stay on the field here for Los Angeles. It'll be a second and 10. Herbert on the handoff going to Eckler. Eckler to his left will find about nine yards. Not going to give him the first down, but it'll be a third and inches now for this Los Angeles offense. Once again, Herbert out the gun, gonna hand it off to Eckler, and the run game is seeing some success. Early Eckler at three carries for 17 yards. First and 10 again for Los Angeles, back on the ground. This time it's Corum giving it to the fresh pair of legs, and Blake Corum now has got the first down to the eight yard line, his first big run as a professional football player. Second and goal for Herbert though from the five, scrambling, you know the pass rush from Cleveland is good, and Miles Garrett wasn't even in on that sack. It's gonna be a loss of seven and a third and goal from the 12 yard line for the Chargers. Playing a little bit conservative here, trying to go for the screen pass to Corum, however, Herbert will miss him, so we will bring out our new kicker, which is Caleb McLaughlin, and that 29-yarder is up, and it is good. So the Chargers will bring out the first score here of 2024 with a field goal. It's 3 to nothing for Los Angeles, and this is exactly the game plan coming into effect. Jalen Petrie, we traded for him in the offseason. Petrie going to pick up a huge sack, making it a third and 17, and Watson is going to just miss a wide-open David Bell as Los Angeles will get the football back from their own territory on a first and 10. Justin Herbert looking to throw, and there is Mike Williams. That ball is going to be picked off. A bad read by Herbert goes straight into the arms of Denzel Ward, and the Cleveland Browns going to get the football back immediately deep into Los Angeles territory. But again, bringing the heat, and Deshaun Watson is going to evade it, though. That is the one thing we have to worry about in this game. I don't think Deshaun Watson is going to beat us with the arm but he can beat you with the legs. Watson's got the first down to the two yard line, third and goal handoff, Nick Chubb all day long. The Chargers have done a good job so far containing Chubb, but right there he's gonna run for a two yard touchdown, putting the Browns up seven to three as we go into the second quarter. Not a bad start to this game, but the Chargers getting the football back. So let's see how Los Angeles responds. First and 10, Herbert out the empty gun, looking over the top, and there's the first grab of the career of Brock 
Bowers. Bowers with a huge one to pick up about 17 yards down to the 42 yard line. Third inches spot here now for Los Angeles. Eckler going to follow behind a guy who we're going to be playing at fullback. We drafted him in the draft, I believe in the seventh round, Brevin Span Ford out of Minnesota. He's 6'8". We're going to be playing him at fullback just because he's a pretty good blocker. So he was the lead block on that play. Third and two though, Herbert cannot connect with Mike Williams. Again, Los Angeles in field goal range, 47 yarder here for McLaughlin. The red rifle, Andy Dalton is on the hold and McLaughlin has got it. It's a seven to six lead though for the Browns still. And they get the football back and here comes Nick Chubb. The blocking upfield is good. He gets into that second level early and that's the problem with sending the blitz the Chargers are is that once you get past that first level, it is a foot race. Nick Chubb gets in the end zone at 14 to six, just like that for the Cleveland Browns, thanks to that run by Nick Chubb. Immediately though, the Chargers get the football back and look at Herbert finding Austin Eckler. Eckler lined up as a receiver and he's gonna get in. A huge touchdown for the Chargers, an instantaneous response. Eckler trying to prove why he still can be the lead back of this team. We're not going to go for two just yet, very early in this game. And I'm fine keeping the deficit at just one. Cleveland, though, back with the football. Watson to Cooper. Only Deshaun's fourth completed pass of the night. Second and one for Cleveland. Watson being pressured. But this is what the Browns have to do against this pass rush of the Chargers. Fired out immediately. And that's what Watson will do. Finding David Njoku for the first down. First and ten, though. Blitz. And there goes Eric Kendricks. Up the middle, unblocked. Big sack for Los Angeles, making it a second and 17. Watson looking, and again, the pressure will get to him. This time it will be Carl Lawson, who we picked up in free agency. Third and 20 for Cleveland after back-to-back -back sacks. Watson stepping up, looking to run maybe. He will, and he's just going to dive down. It will be a punt spot here for Cleveland, and they're going to give the football right back to the LA Chargers. Immediately, Herbert looks to Brock Bowers on a third and nine. That ball, though, is incomplete. So, again, Los Angeles immediately giving it right back to Cleveland. First and 10, a minute 20 left to go in the half. Watson with a pretty nice ball right there to his all-pro tight end in David Njoku. Third and 10 for Cleveland from the 37 yard line in Dustin Hopkins' range. Watson, though, with an interesting throw going deep. That ball's picked off. Asante Samuel Jr. in the end zone. Watson just heaving one up to no avail as the Chargers will close this first half down by one point here on the road. Cleveland with an early lead, but still a close one. 14-13 for the Browns. So the Chargers open the second half from their own 25-yard line. Herbert looks quick again to Brock Bowers, but again, that ball falls incomplete. So Cleveland back with the ball here, first and 10 for Deshaun Watson, handing it off to Nick Chubb, which they should honestly be doing more. Chubb with seven carries for 95 yards and two touchdowns. He'll have the ball now down to the 41 yard line, first and 10. Watson, clean pocket this time, going to his right. There is Njoku, and the Browns are building probably their best drive up just so far. Second and 15, though, for Cleveland. Watson being pressured, but still he will find Amari Cooper. Or sorry, excuse me, that is going to be Nick Chubb. So again, the Browns playing pretty good football here you gotta remember their right guard Kevin Zietler finally signed elsewhere in free agency he actually signed with us so we have their former starting right guard but Chubb though with another first down to the four first and goal Watson looks to the right he's got his rookie receiver it is Jermaine Burden Burden gets into the end zone and it will be 21 to 13 now for the Cleveland Browns third and three though for Los Angeles trying to keep the offense on the field going deep Herbert looking for Mike Williams he underthrows him not Justin Herbert's best game. It will be a first and 10 for Cleveland back with the ball, but that is instant pressure yet again. Gonna be Joey Bosa and Eric Kendricks right there on the sack. Third and 15 for Watson from the 30 yard line. You will dump it off to Nick Chubb. Pancake block up field and barely we're gonna stop Chubb before he picks up the first down. Good tackle right there by the rookie Quinion Mitchell. Chargers back with the football. Second and 10, Justin Herbert rolling and he will find Brock Bowers. What a ball by Justin Herbert and a first down for Los Angeles. Second and seven from the 36. Herbert play action fake looking to throw. Nowhere to go. Immediate pressure. Dalvin Tomlinson on the sack for the Browns. Third and 17. Herbert going over the top to Keenan Allen who's been held catchless so far. The Chargers again will have to punt. So shout out to our punter, J.K. Scott. He's been the MVP so far. There goes a first and 10 completion at Watson to Njoku. And the Browns right now having no trouble moving the football. Third and two, though. Play action fake. I don't know why they do that because Watson again is pressured. And that ball falls incomplete. 
So the Chargers defense keeping us in the game, first and 10 for Herbert. Again, the run hasn't been working. The pass game hasn't been working until now. Here's a big run by Austin Eckler. He's gonna get us out of our own end zone. I mean, we're down to 12 yard line, but still he's gonna get us to the Browns 41 yard line. Now they're 35 on a second and four. We haven't heard this name in a while. Blake Corum for the first six carries, 31 yards. Let's go to the fourth quarter. Chargers though, still down by only one score. All right, we open the fourth quarter with a third and 15. Justin Herbert already in field goal range, but now looking to run. Block up field by Blake Corman. Herbert will pick up 10, making it a fourth and five. And now this is interesting. We're going to go for it. From the 22-yard line, Justin Herbert looking to throw. He looks to his left and he finds Brock Bowers. That's why you pick him with the number five overall pick. Bowers down to the two-yard line and now a goal line spot for the Chargers here. First and goal handoff, Blake Corum trying to get in. Oh, look at the shifty ability, and Corum's going to get in the end zone. It's a two-point game now, 19-21. to 21. The Chargers now, they will elect to go for two. We'll see what play call they draw up here, and Jim Harbaugh's got it from the two-yard line. Herbert looks to his left to Brevin Span Ford, and he is short. You try going to the rookie out of Minnesota, but he's held just short. So now the defense has to step up yet again. Good ball right there, though. Watson will not miss David Bell that time. The Purdue product will be down now, down to the 44-yard line. First and 10 back over midfield. The Chargers send everyone, but Watson stays in. He gets hit and fires to Jermaine Burton. First down to the 30. Third and 17 for Watson. They're going to hand it off to Nick Chubb. A very conservative play call right there by Kevin Stefanski. The Browns, of course, will kick the field goal 48 yards for Dustin Hopkins from the right hash. It's up and it's good, but really keeps the Chargers alive here. Down by five from their own 32-yard line. Herbert to his left will find Brock Bowers. He has been the safety valve of sorts, but he's really been the number one option in the pass game. We have yet to hear from Keenan Allen. We've heard from Mike Williams once. We've heard from Joshua Palmer once, but right on cue, there's Keenan Allen for his first grab of the season for a gain of seven. You gotta figure the Chargers gotta go that way more, but now look at the clock, slowly ticking away. Four minutes to go. Again, the Chargers need to get in the end zone, but no need to hurry up here. You can take your time as long as you can keep getting the first downs. There is Keenan Allen yet again. A gain of seven. This is kind of what the Chargers have been getting. They've been getting like seven on first down. Here is second down. You only need three, and that's what you get out of Blake Corum. So all of a sudden, the clock's under three minutes. First and 10 for Justin Herbert, shovel pass. Austin Eckler got the first down, or did not get the first down, but got a gain of eight after he breaks the first tackle. Two and change left to go. Herbert on a second and two handoff. Eckler's got the first down. Again, no need to hurry this up. It is gonna be a second and 10 handoff to Blake Corum after an incompletion on first down. Corum picks up nine and it puts you at a third and one here. Herbert, there's no need to throw the ball right now. Austin Eckler got the first down. Again, the Chargers are eating the Browns' run D alive. Minute 14 to go. Herbert from the 14-yard line looks over the middle. Keenan Allen, all of a sudden, three catches on this final drive after zero all game. He's hurt, but a first and goal from the two. Hand off Austin Eckler. He is going to get in. I thought about waiting. But again, we let him in the end zone. I don't think the Browns wanted a stop there, considering the time on the clock. Gonna go for two, you gotta get this one. Herbert goes to a fade to Mike Williams, there you go. Williams is only second grab, the Knights a big one. The offense finally clicking at the very end of this game and giving the defense now a three point cushion, but there it goes to Sean Watson over the middle to Amari Cooper. Down to the 50, here you go. The Browns trying to get in the field range. Watson the lobs one up and he lobs it to Nick Chubb. That ball's picked off by Jalen Petrie and that's your ball game. I don't understand the play call again out of Cleveland. Watson did not have a very good night. They saw a lot of success in the ground, but Stefanski and co, I guess was, you know, I guess they wanted to prove why Watson's a better passing option than Joe Flacco. Maybe he wasn't. I don't know, Flacco's retired, so they gotta kinda have to stick with Watson this season. But it's a huge win in the opener for Justin Herbert, Jim Harbaugh, and the Los Angeles Chargers. They go on the road. They go to Cleveland, Ohio, and they pick up the victory 27 to 24 against the Cleveland Browns. So folks, thank you for watching episode number two of the Chargers franchise mode here on Madden 24. If you haven't yet though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Good luck, Sam, for watching. Mamba, forever.